Hello, Social Video Marketing Summit. It is great to hang out with you guys here today. In case we haven't met, my name is Tim Schmoyer and I own a business called Video Creators that trains people how to grow an audience on YouTube. I also run a YouTube channel by the same name at youtube.com slash video creators. There's hundreds of videos there that just train people how to build an audience and how to grow their channel so that their message can spread, reach people, and ultimately impact their lives. That's what this is all about. I am really excited to you guys some best practices to help you guys really start growing your own YouTube channel. And the first thing I want to recommend for you guys is that you have a clear idea of who your target audience is. All, uh, this is for both your YouTube channel and for your videos. And the next thing, number two, is that you need to have a clearly defined value proposition for your channel. And a value proposition is basically what value do you propose to deliver to your audience, to that target audience, through your channel. Now, the basic questions most people are asking when they before they start consuming content, the filters they run it through, whether it's television, books, radio, podcast, doesn't matter, before we consume content is one, is this for me? And you've answered that by addressing the target audience. And the second question is, is this valuable to me? Do I care? Why should I care? Do I really want to invest the time to consume this content? And so very quickly, your content needs to address the target audience and also pitch the value of the video and also the channel overall. The third thing that's important is that you have a very enticing thumbnail. A little known fact a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of the top creators on YouTube actually spend just as much time, if not more time, crafting their thumbnail for their video than they actually do making the content itself. And then kind of going along right with that, number four is you need to have really enticing titles. That thumbnail and the title are the two things people are going to look at to decide whether or not they're going to click and watch your video in the first place. I know it's very easy to just by default title your videos that's something that just merely describes the content. But instead, I wanna encourage you to think about crafting titles that pitches the value of the video, the reward of the video, the benefit the viewer will get if they watch that video, which is ultimately what they care about. So after you have an enticing thumbnail and title, number five, the next thing that's very important is the first 15 seconds of that video. Someone clicked on that title and thumbnail expecting to get some sort of value from that video. And if that value doesn't come to like four minutes five minutes into the video, you've lost them. They're not gonna stick around. Then number six, your content actually has to be valuable after that point. I think that goes without saying, but the normal question here is like, Tim, should we make five minute videos? Should we make two minute videos? And I would say, if you have a two minute idea, to make a two minute video, right? Don't try to stretch it out to five minutes because you think that's gonna do better for watch time or something on YouTube. But if you have a five minute idea, don't artificially try to cram it into two minutes. Take as long as you need to deliver the value that you want to deliver and then not a second long. Number seven is that you should wrap up your videos with a strong call to action. A call to action basically just answers the question, what action do you want the viewer to take as a result of watching your video? I recommend you do no more than two call to actions. The ones I do, the first one is I ask people to comment below and I usually prompt that and just kind of spark that engagement by asking a question that I want them to answer. And then I will, the second one is I will ask them to subscribe. And I usually do that also by telling them why, like what's the benefit, what's the value proposition of this channel. But your call to actions can be anything you want them to be. Just don't end the video without telling the viewer what step you want them to take next. Number eight is I recommend you write a good description for your video. After your video is uploaded or while it's uploading, there's a little box right there that you can write a little bit about your video. I recommend keeping your keywords in mind, but just writing them out in normal conversational English. Give it a, like a good paragraph or so, maybe four, five, six, seven sentences, something like that. And then number nine, beneath that field, you'll see there's a tag field. And then there you're going to write some YouTube tags. The best way to think about tags is imagine you are explaining this video to a friend. You're telling them about it. What words would you use to describe this video to that friend? Either one word or two word phrases. Those are the words you wanna use as tags. And I think you should probably not be using any more than like 15. You don't have to stuff hundreds of them in there, but somewhere around eight to 15 is probably a good range of tags to get in that field for your video. If you do these nine things well on your channel, it will begin to grow. It will reach people. You'll see views and subscribers all start to increase. And most importantly, the message of your company, your business, or even your personal message will start to spread and reach people and impact and change their lives, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much for letting me be a small part of that here with you guys today. I hope you have an amazing summit. Talk to you later. Bye.